Hey everyone, how are you? Welcome back. So, thank you so much for supporting me on this journey. And please do not forget to subscribe and like this video. When you subscribe, um, you can hit the little bell button next to it and that'll just notify you um, every time I put a video up so like that you don't miss any of my great content <laughs> um, and of course if there's anything that I can help and support you guys with please send me a message um, comment on my videos or my post and um, it would truly be an honor for me to help you in any way like so many people have helped me um, so Let's get to it. Uh, today is Weigh-In Wednesday. So this is my second week doing this um, accountability type of video. And again, if you saw my uh, video last week, um, th these videos are really at the end of the day for me and my accountability and keeping me on track and um, all of that. And if in the interim of it, it inspires or helps one of you, that's more than I could have ever asked for. So this week's topic, um, last week going into this week, was reject all or nothing thinking. And this one was a hard one for me, honestly, um, because I'm very much all or nothing. And I just really think that it... Um, depends on you and your journey and who you are because we are all different. We all um, view food and weight loss and health, mental health and all of that so differently and it's so different for each of us. So this is not kind of a cookie cutter thing. Um, I am very much all or nothing in a lot of aspects where it's important for you to know who you are. So for me, all or nothing works, meaning either I'm not, I'm going to have it all or I'm not going to have it at all. So um, for me with sweets, I can't just, it's very difficult for me to have just a piece. Um, I'm either going to have it or I'm not. Um, so I, I'm very much like that, but I'm not to the extreme where I will remove things from, um, from my journey because I'm afraid that it may trigger me. So it really wasn't a topic that I a hundred percent associated with, um, but I can see where it is that way for a lot of people. And just for me on this journey, um, it's, it's not, um, I'm very comfortable in knowing that I can kind of control myself in certain aspects, but I know that there are things, trigger things that I cannot. So those are the things that I completely remove from my journey because if I have one, I want more. Simple example, Reese's peanut butter cups. I can't just have one. No. So I'm just not going to have any, and that is okay for me right now. Um, so it's important for you to know that with your journey. So um, going into this week, last week I had a 2.4 loss, which I was very, very excited about. Um, this week I went into today expecting a gain and that's only because of you know girl issues um but since last friday i felt completely bloated i felt like i even told my husband i'm like i i definitely gained i just feel like i put on five pounds which i knew was drastic but the way my body felt it didn't feel good and I was, I was really nervous. Um, something that I implemented for the past two weeks going into my third week is I am not weighing myself at home at all. So typically I was weighing myself at least once a day, at least sometimes twice. Um, and that affects us, good or bad, it still affects us. When I saw that I had a loss on my scale at home, I felt like I could be more lenient 
with myself. And when I saw that I had a gain, I kind of, um, not put myself down, but I was kind of like, oh my God, what am I doing? What did I eat? I have to be careful today. I have to be careful leading up. And I just said, you know what? I can't do that to myself. Um, if I am eating the right food, drinking my water and putting my movement in, there's really no reason why I should not have a successful week, right? So um, that was this, this was the second week. So I weigh in on Wednesday. So that's what I consider my week. Um, so that was the second week that I did that. So, um, last week, I just kind of want to recap. So last week we had, um, on Thursday, I think it was, we had sushi for the first time in months, like months, I think since the beginning of our journey in January. So we joined, me and my husband do this together. Um, we joined January 2nd, 2019. And today is June 26, 2019. And it's, we used to have sushi at least twice a week. So um, we went on a special like little date somewhere close to us here where we live. And we had sushi and we, we did pretty good. Um, I had a Connie salad, he had a Connie salad. We split two special rolls and then we had a roll each. So my body was so not used to all that sodium. Um, so I knew for the next few days, I just had to flush my system out with water. And then the day after that, we had steak. Um, so I think that added a lot to me feeling very bloated. And um, Saturday we had dinner with my parents, so that was good. We had pasta. Pasta is one of those things that it depends on what type, but the pasta we had on Saturday, I actually went for seconds, which is not like me, but it was so good. And Sunday we had some friends over, so I cooked a whole spread. We had stuffed shells, we had chicken franchise, we had sausage and peppers, we had a nice big salad, um, stuffed mushrooms, there was lots of great food, but everything was within points. Um, I actually recorded that, a lot of the, the things that I made, and I'm going to compile it and post it on YouTube because so many people feel like, oh my God, you know, how are you gonna have Sunday dinner and you can't eat stuffed shells. My stuffed shells are four points each. You can have three stuffed shells for 12 points and it's so worth it, you know? Um, but I made sure that throughout the day we didn't have, I didn't have a breakfast. I just had a premier protein with my coffee. I had a banana, I had some fruit. Um, throughout the day, I kept extremely hydrated and I really didn't eat anything else for the day. Um, dessert came and what I did was, oh, I can't have dessert in my house. I will eat it. I will eat it. Um, so I went to Sam's Club and I got these individually wrapped. Um, th there were three pies, you know, small, small size pies. Um, and I said, you know what? There's three different flavors. It's perfect for company and it's a taste of each and hopefully they'll be gone and there's no leftovers. Well, there was a lot of leftover pie and I actually gave it to my sister and let to take home. So that was a win. Um, I had one cookie. My favorite cookie is the cookie with the raspberry jelly. My absolute favorite. And I ate that on Sunday. Uh, Monday and Tuesday did pretty good. Um, one of the things that I think is helping me most is my three mile walk every day. And that is just a non-negotiable for me. Um, every day that walk is going to get in somehow, some way. So, um, and drinking lots and lots of water. So something that I started doing to my water in the past two weeks, which is really, really helps me drink it, is I put the true lemon in here. Um, it is, I think 10 calories, so it's zero points. And it says to put the packet in, I think it is 16 ounces. Well, 
I get this 50 ounce bottle and I put one packet in it and it's perfect. It's, it's perfect. So I do that. And my goal is really to get the, <laughs> my goal is really to drink two of these, but <sighs> I've been drinking at least one. Some days I'll get more. But at least one. My favorite is the raspberry. So good. So um, that has definitely been helping me. And that's pretty much it. So on to weigh in. So if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen my story this morning that said, um, I had a feeling I was going to have a gain, like I told you, that time of the month. And historically, in my um, journey, I will gain once a month. And it's not a big gain. I don't think I've ever gained more than 1.2. Um, and then the next week, it comes right off. Um, but I will typically have a gain. So I was prepared for that today. And I got on the scale, and me and my husband weigh in together at the same time and he's like oh, I just got to run to the bathroom he's like you go weigh in and I'll, I'll be right there so I did and I was like you know what good he won't be here and I won't be embarrassed when I have a gain on the scale and I got on the scale and I don't even remember what the weight was last time and she wasn't saying anything and I'm like did I lose did I gain how much did I gain and I got off and my husband had pulled you know had just walked up to the station and the guide who I don't even know what her name is but she's so lovely um she's such a sweetheart she said um you're down 3.4 hmm? I was like hmm, what and my husband was like what <laughs> and I'm like what and let's rewind so when I got right before I got on the scale, she said to me, what are you proud of that you did this week? And I said to her, honestly, this week was a really tough week for me. And um, I don't know. And she's like, there's got to be something that you're proud of. And I said, honestly, I'm proud that I got out every day and did my three miles. And she's like, oh, that's awesome. And then I stepped on the scale. And so I think when she saw my reaction, she was confused. And I was like, I look, I'm down 3.4. And she's like, yeah. And I looked at my husband. My husband was like, oh my God, babe, you're you were so scared that you, and I lost it. I started crying. I don't want to cry now. Um, I got so emotional. She's writing down on my on my book and I hit 41.4 pounds lost since January of 2019. And she's like, oh my God. She's like, oh. she gave me a hug. I don't even know what she said. And she said to me, remember this moment. She's like, you worked so hard. She's like, you come here every week and, and you're doing the right things. And she's like, what's really, is there something else? And I said, you know, I, I said, I truly thought that I was up this week. And I felt bloated and I, I, I tracked and I did all of the things. And she gave me a good point. She said to just, you know, look back and just see what it was in my tracker throughout the week that made me feel that way. And if it keeps repeating, just constantly go back and just, you know, check out to see if there's a specific food. And it could have been the sushi. That was like the one thing that I have not eaten this whole journey. And this was the first time I've really felt that way. But I just thought it was that time of the month. Um, but I literally was crying, was just completely crying. So yeah. How amazing like this journey is pretty amazing there's so many ups and downs and like I didn't even get on the scale all week and I 
I was kind of like taunting myself without getting on the scale. I taunt myself when I get on the scale sometimes. But I just feel like truly if you work the plan, the plan works. And um, I just I just go and say, you know what? If I am eating the right foods, if I am drinking my water, and if I am moving, I'm doing the right things. And the scale should reflect that. And some weeks it just won't. And I know that. And, and I'm pretty lucky and I don't, I don't want to use the word lucky, but um, I, I'm I'm pretty fortunate that I really haven't had many gains on this. And if I did, you know, I know what it was from and I've just been consistently losing. And I did put a goal for myself and this was just for me to be down 50 pounds by the end of June, which I so thought was unattainable, but I said, I'm going to, I'm going to strive for, you know, a big goal and I probably won't make it anyway, but you know, I'd be happy if I lost 30 and today I hit 41.4. It's so unreal. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Sorry, long winded. Um, it was a great day. I'm proud of myself. And I thank everyone in the community for their support and their love and all of that. So don't forget if there's anything that I can personally help you with, it, it would truly um, be an honor to me to help anyone. If you are struggling, if you have challenges, even if you don't and you just want, you know, someone to talk to, sometimes we just need that. So please reach out to me. Please follow me on Instagram at journey.towards.health.ww. Find me on there. I post on there all the time. Uh, my workouts, which my workouts consist of me walking, uh, walking, running on my three miles, but they're there every day. Um, I story a lot. I kind of take you on my day to day. I share things as I'm doing them. Sometimes not everything that I kind of do um is really a, a big video worthy i think so please feel free to follow me on instagram um and i just opened a facebook page and that facebook page is i need to actually look at what it is <laughs> it's weight watchers spelt out you know written out journey towards health so feel free to follow me there as well. Um, like I said, I'm trying to share as much as I can with everyone because I get so much from everyone. So if you weighed in today, I hope you had a successful weigh-in. Um, I hope that this week's weigh-in brings you exactly what it is that you think it should and what you've worked for. Um, and if it doesn't, it's okay. It's totally fine starts a new week just get back on track okay so hope you guys have a great week i look forward to seeing you next week on way in wednesday have a great day everyone Bye.